everybody, Professor Red Shoes here. Today I'm talking about uh, a few different products. Um, one in particular is the Alisa's I.O. Dock. It uh, works hand in hand with the iPad. Now, currently I'm working with the iPad 2. I'll let you know if iPad 3 works fine with it. Uh, a particular app called EAC7 Core and it is able to control faders in my software. Now, I'm going to do it by USB MIDI, but you can also do it wireless. Um, I prefer to make use of the USB MIDI connection, very little latency, fabulous. Um, I'm also, my audio interface today, because I'm going portable with a laptop, is a Tascam US144. The uh, AC7 uh, Core app is very affordable and it hooks up immediately to uh, your computer so that you can control faders like a control surface, multiple touch uh, movement of faders. Now I'm going to do a close up so you can see what, what's going on with that. Um, everybody knows the iPad as being uh, many things, uh, photographs, uh, video. Uh, books, you know, all that sort of thing, and there's many, many apps that you can use. Um, the app I'm looking forward to is the Multiple Orgasm app. When that comes out, I'll be first in line for that one. Okay, so this is the Elisa Stock. It provides a um, MIDI interface. XLR quarter inch mic line inputs, balanced out, phantom power, everything that you're going to need. Also has a handy little headphone jack area and main volume control, so you can do that. This one has a sled inside so that you can change from an iPad 1 to an iPad 2, whatever you have to do and let me show you the docking procedure all you do is take your iPad and slide it into the sled and dock it that's all there is to it then you fire it up and up comes uh, what it is you want to do And there is a control surface. So, fun for everyone. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the mixer view in my laptop of Nuendo. And then over here, we have the Elisa's dock with the uh, volume controls, the, the uh, mixer page once again and a US 144 for my audio but uh, I'm not worried about that today so the problem of course is going to be is trying to show you two things at once if I move these faders using my fingers on the control surface I'm trying to keep this steady I'm sorry what happens is it moves the faders in the software fantastic just fantastic and uh, motorized so that when I play back you see the faders move this also provides transport control scrubbing muting solo the whole package for the price of this app you're replacing a minimum thousand dollar control surface so absolutely remarkable um, you could do this also, by the way, by the iPhone, but the difference just being a smaller uh, uh, touch surface. So the iPad works quite well with this. So there you have it. Run. Run to the store. Buy this app. Fantastic. And, of course, again, you know, the bonus of the iPad is all the other things that it, it will uh, accomplish for you. Um, but for studio guys, 
it's great you can walk around the room if you go uh, wireless Wi-Fi and adjust a mix from different listening positions if you so desire alright so this is another view of me trying to show you what's going on moving the feeders up and down and controlling what's taking place in the software I don't see that working too well so there you have it another uh, batch of information and uh, stay tuned because I'll be doing uh, many more uh, videos uh, reviews tutorials that sort of thing so uh, thanks for uh, watching Bye now.